Hello everyone, thank you for sticking around a little bit extra for the wait, just getting people uh, back into the competitive spirit of things, hopping into the lobby. Once again, welcome to Penn State League, continuing our coverage of the Nittany Invitational. Now moving on to the quarterfinals, where we have Penn State Blue versus New York University. And what is shaping up to be a pretty solid match. Um, there are no really weak teams left at this point, they have been called... And thus, everyone here should give us a good game. Once again, I'm Infamous Trash, joined here by Runk. Good to have you back, my friend. Always great to be casting. Yep, and we're just waiting on draft to begin. Now, we've seen PSU Blue quite a few times in quite just a few a different iterations. Uh, these players are not unfamiliar for us, so my apologies for extreme Penn State bias. No, nah, just, 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 <laughs> just a hair as just, I choke you know, on my own little, words. A little bit of Penn State bias, um, but should be looking like for game. Note that Penn State Blue is going to start Ruck for game one in the jungle, or not jungle. Um, support oh. position. Sorry. And Poon Sung Yark is going to do jungle, so we will not be seeing Hoodie Grimmel today. Very true. Or at least also for game known one. As 
also known as Herb Smoker or Skirmish or one of his 20 other IDs he's used this season. Hey, man, some guys just, you know, you like to change it up, get a different feel, um, that sort of thing. But we're hopping on into the draft. So I will switch our screen over to that real quick. And we'll see how this is shaping out. Meta has been pretty consistent for Nittany Invite thus far. Not too much of a variation. And yeah, NYU immediately going to ban away the Caitlyn. Interesting, we're going to ban it on ways on blue side, so possibly looking for a Hecker MB1 if Penn State Blue leaves it up. Uh, that is something we've seen in the past. And this is going to be some target banning for the mid lane of NYU. The Talon, take it away. You don't see that very often unless you know the mid laner is a good Talon, Blair. I believe their their mid laner is a Grandmaster player currently. Uh, previously, yes. cha previously challenger last season. And of of his about 130 games of ranked, 115 of them have been Talon. That's a lot of talent. That is a lot of talent. Hey, if you're good at something, stick with it. Looks like possibly looking at an Echo. As a ban, I'm assuming that's something with Poonsung, maybe? I don't, Mr. Lazy does play it, but... Oh. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, can tell you a little inside knowledge. They do like them some Echo, but none of them are really big-time Echo players. Yep. Man, oh, it's my stream. There we go. Okay. Now I can see the Vigor and Ari bands coming through. I was stuck in the Echo Band for quite a long time because I think it's freezing up. Building anticipation. There we go. All right. Stream fixed. Vigor taken away. Hate Predator Vagar. Remove Predator Vagar. Or at least the Predator part. Vagar is honestly fine. Otherwise, Champion's not exactly uncounterable. Far from it. We've seen Syndra do incredibly well into it so far at the tournament. Uh, that was not close. <laughs> so that's on. And Blitzcrank be the final ban away for PSG Blue. So Hecarim's still available for that B1 slot. Very strong jungle pick. Gives you good engage. Can be very tanky. You can build more damage uh, oriented side as well. So, see what NYU wants to go towards. Instead, it's going to be Renata. Ooh. First pick on blue side. Yeah, I was, I was, I've been talking about this with a few people. When Renata first came out, she kind of looked like one of those champs that you were going to have to use, you were going to have to counter pick to get the most value out of her. But as we've gotten to learn more about her, her versatility with Glacial Augment, Guardian, Airy, and all that, she really is very blindable now. It looks like, and that's oh, even more that's interesting. Very early Zerith as well. I'm assuming that's going support. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be going support. That's with going Zareth. support, that's absolutely. That's support, Zareth. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Ruck is a really big fan of Zareth's support, and with the Ash, that's massive poke down there. That is a very hard to poke out later. Now, you already have the Renata locked in, so you're not exactly looking to get more engaged to get on these two in any sort of way. Curious to see what NYU wants to go. Still, Jinx available in AD carry. Jin also still available. Uh, if they want to go the more classic routes, I'm not exactly sure what Renata pairs with. We have not seen enough of her, I think, to get a good idea. But Ezreal is certainly a safety option. Uh, to just sit back and shoot out Mystic Shots to get that CS. And for easy trades. Ooh. Oh. Champion Viego, hover. Yeah, Champion we haven't seen too terribly much of, but still very strong. Just slightly overshadowed by some of the other jungle picks. We'll have to see what PSU wants to respond with. Possibly, again, you could look for the jungle counter pick here. You have it open unless you want to save it for... Or you have, sorry, a mid lane pick or top lane pick that you really want to lock in. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing they'll go with the jungler here. I'm guessing they'll go jungle here to see what Poonsung Yark wants to go with. And it looks like we're going with Frail Yord. He's going to take the trundle. And uh, Viego not going to have a great time in the early game on that one. <laughs> no, he's going to gonna walk up and he's going to get bonked. And then he's going to have to go back to base. Yeah, that's Trundle, Trundle Jungle, as I've been told by Mr. Consolo, our resident Trundle, uh, Trundle man. So, we'll see exactly how uh, he, he gets this one done. 
In either event, Poppy banned yep. away as well. Interesting. Now, if they're banning Poppy, I mean, they already have Viego and Ezreal, so those are two dash champions. I'm curious if they're looking to go with something like the Irelia or the Gwen. Uh, that yeah, could it's... also be more exploited. Akali even as well is an option up there that's hard to deal with when you have Poppy on the field. So maybe looking to go that way and phase two a draft. We'll have to see what NYU play. players are doing. But Penn State, I would say probably likely blinding a mid here. That was a Kaisa mid ban, actually. Yes. It's interesting. Now, I did see Mr. Lazy is lined up in the mid lane. So it'll be interesting to see if him and PSU Raccoon are actually swapping back as they were earlier in the season. Yeah, it seems so. I mean, mid lane is not, not no stranger for Mr. Lazy. He is uh, a little cracked. It looks like interesting go with a little Blanc. Fair blind, fairly safe, can play most lanes out very easily in terms of just surviving, if nothing else. I'd be interested to see what NYU wants to take into the Talons, band away, possibly look for another assassin. Zed's always available when you go with an AP top, but doing AP top blind as well is very interesting because you have to, you, you are counter pickable at that point. You can be picked into, but instead going with Lissandra, okay. So it does have an answer into it, and that and is... And then there's the Akali. Nope. Oh, no. no it's not hover. We don't talk about hovers. We wait. We wait. We'll wait. And yeah, Camille locked away. So not a champ we have seen too often recently. No, and she's she hasn't really been nerfed lately. She just kind of fell out of favor with people. Yep. Do have three frail yard champs, though. Can we get a fourth? We do get a fourth if this is locked in. This would be... Pretty darn good pick into the Camille. Yep, that's that's. Yeah. I almost four frail yard. I almost hate to see it because gosh, Trinidad is one obnoxious champion. But this is gonna be a very interesting game from both of these teams. These are. It's almost like you took both these teams and just took like individual lanes or champions you thought were good and just smashed them together. Yeah, there's there's no like identity no of great team comp. Uh, now, Penn State Blue did give some nice value for the Renata, though, giving him Trinomir, Trundle, Ash. So we could see some big Renata alts. Could very well indeed as we uh, wait for people to start up the in-game draft. But, I mean, this is... One thing I always like to look at with drafts and team comps uh, is ease of play. Like, how easy is this comp to execute? The, more, the easier it is to execute, yes, it might be more one-dimensional in what you're trying to achieve, but it also means that you don't have to do all these crazy things to make your team function properly. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of simplifying things. Yeah, this is... Uh, and one of the things that makes that easy is quick access to very guaranteed engage. You're thinking things like Nautilus, you're thinking Leona, you're thinking these kind of champs, Orn, these kind of champs that can just engage fights. Uh, pick stuff on your term, you don't have to bait people in, you don't have to set up really hard to uh, force something out. Neither of these teams really has a great option for that. You do have Lissandra and Camille over on NYU who can facilitate some of that, but has to put their, uh, both of them really at pretty high risk to do so, diving into a lot of these champions. Whereas Penn State, you're looking at an Ash Arrow, and that's kind of it. <laughs> you got an yeah. Ash Arrow, and you got Trundle Pillar. That is all you got going for you in that department. So possibly looking to play more of a split push game around the Trindamere and the Trundle, or LeBlanc even in a side lane later on. Uh, LeBlanc, though, can be matched by Camille. You have the ultimate to keep her in check. You know, a little bit harder to just play in general. And then if you're looking at NYU side of things, whereas, yes, I think in terms of lane matchups, they should be perfectly fine. I don't think anyone's, like, super hard losing. Camille may be getting outscaled by Trinomir as the game keeps going forward, and Trinomir keeps getting more and more ridiculously nutty. But it's just going to be interesting to see how these teams want to play out, because they both have split push threat. They have some elements of a team fight comps, but don't really want to. You have Penn State going for more of the poke comp, whereas NYU has this pseudo CC like pick 
comp, I guess, with Viego, Lissandra, and Ezreal. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It kind of... Honestly, it, Ezreal is the weird one out here. Because Camille and Viego obviously want to go in. Renata can function pretty much anywhere in a team fight. Same with Lissandra for the most part, though. She prefers to get good in there. But my guess is Penn State's logic here is after seeing the Renata, the Tridomere Trundle is basically going to say, okay, we just won't team fight you. And it is Mr. Lazy doing the middle block. Yep. Again, that's to be expected. The man is no stranger to the mid lane. Uh, we'll see if we get Mr. Lazy or Mr. Crazy this game. Happens. Uh, ha has had a tendency in the past to... Make interesting decisions. Yeah, a little Emphasi bit quite Emphasis decisions. on the int arresting. Question questionable decisions sometimes. It's a little, uh... A little too hyphy. We get on LeBlanc though, champion that's very safe at facilitating that, so. Yeah, he's got a plenty of get out of jail free cards on there. Quite indeed. And with 27 seconds left on here to choose your loadout, we'll have to see what these guys choose for runes. We'll take a quick break on the cast as we go into um, spectator delay, as we've had plenty of time with ProDraft to get a feel for what we're expecting here. Either way, should look to be an exciting game, if nothing else. And we'll have to see NYU, the higher seed, looking to continue their way on toward the semifinals. Penn State Blue still hungry for a win themselves. And we'll be back here to see game one in just a few minutes.
All right. Spectator delay has concluded. We are back and loading into the game. Time for my favorite part, reviewing the skin choices. Uh, everyone's got one. We got no base skins. Renata is base, but... Uh, well, she doesn't have that many options, she, to be fair. She gets a pass. She's a new skin. It's, she's a new skin, you know. It's new, new champ. It's technically a new skin, you know. It's all good. All good. As we hop on into game... Game one of our first little best of three here for the day. Penn State Blue, NYU. Take him to the rift. Looks like it's going to be more than likely just five points for both of these teams. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. going actually down into the bottom lane here. Probably get an early ward in the bush. Yeah, it's probably going to ward and they'll probably back and grab a sweeper. Yep, Nebulous and... Oh jeez, how do you pronounce the top letter's name? Here, we're back to the normal conundrum. Siren? Siren? Siren. Maybe it's like Siren, like Siren. I'm not sure. Like someone will, Saya, someone will, like Super Saiyan or something. I have no someone idea. Someone will probably yell at us in the chat. Yeah, here. someone, so someone in chat can yell at me for mispronouncing. I'm gonna just go by ear for now. As I said last night, uh, I'm bad at English. Yeah, I'm. I'm a comp sci major. I'm not supposed to be good at you know the reading and the writing. Yeah, I'm education, but you know I'm history <laughs> education, so. We, we don't care about how stuff is spelled. We just care about how it happened. Very good. <laughs> Looks like it'll be a topside start for both these junglers. A little bit interesting on the Viego side. No, he does like to care, clear his solo camps, like his solo standing camps first up on blue. Ah, uh, no. Fantastic AoE damage early outside the Q, and even that's marginal. Trundle also starting his red buff. Get that early one and path down toward bot side, which he has quite a bit of poke in. Should be able to get pretty easy, actually pretty automatic lane trial given some volley shots and Xerath cues into the wave. They are actually getting pushed in right now. I'm saying if they if they wish to, it's one of those things. It's like Varus, where if you really want to push the wave, you always can, <laughs> given that you have mana. Right now they're just being a little chill. Yeah, again, nice. go the W start. Yeah, not expecting this game to be like a level one slugfest here. It's going to be chilling for now, but top lane level 2 hit. Bane of Hades can't Q away, so he's going to take a good bit of damage. Has full stacks on the Q, though, so can just heal that back up once he gets to level 2. After, I think, this minion. Yep. There he goes. Heals back up. That's, uh... Perfectly fine. Jungle is moving down. Trundle a little bit behind in the clear. Just getting done with the Raptors now. Where's Viego finishing up his... Hades, so just yeah, Trinity are not gonna have a fun time with this early on. Does need to get some some momentum. Really waiting on level six for that insanely uh, nuts ultimate. Yeah, that level six spike is a little strong. Little a tad uh, strong as Trundle skips all of his bot side to squat bot. Uh, a little bit interesting on the pathing. We're probably just gonna go for crab slash hover on Diego. Yeah, he's probably. I believe they did spot out oh, the Diego. Some of those coming in. They have the slows, so David in trouble. Nice Has killer. the flash. Exhaust is down, but it might not save him. One more auto attack will do it. Raccoon grabs the first kill of the game. Uh, yeah. No, not the old PSU Raccoon in the AD carry, but taking the namesake nonetheless. And so far, did a good job at holding it. Yeah, the, that's literally the danger of the Ash Trundle combo is if you get slowed, you're not getting your move speed back. Yeah. Very nice but as I was game. as I was saying about the Trundle, I believe they spotted out the Viego on his Raptors with the Hawk shot. So I believe Poon Sung Yark probably just said, you know what, he's pathing bot, I'm gonna get the jump on him and just sit here. Yeah, sat there and gonna go back and re-clear all of his camps. Gonna be a little bit delayed on the respawn timers, of course, but should be Perfectly fine, grab his wolves back, go back up to Krugs, have a good time. And with a reset top lane from Saren, I have no TP to get immediately back to lane. And they should have some time to deal with this wave before having to deal with Diego. However, Mr. Lazy ooh. possibly in trouble. Daywood here, Diego on the way, but ooh, minion takes whatever ability that is. <laughs> Q, I think. Q, I believe, is handshake on Renata. Well, 
it's not even that I don't know the ha names. I don't know the names either, but like, even which one is... <laughs> uh, Q is handshake, is your little claw. Okay. W is bailout, which is your revive slash speed up. Your E is loyalty program, which is the little missile and shielding. Ah, and then finally okay. you have the R hostile takeover. Gotcha. All business terms, because, you know, she's a chem baroness. A woman of business. True. Illegal business, but business nonetheless. In any event, besides level 1 gank has been quite a quiet affair. No major CS leads, except in bot lane. That's going to be a slowly evening up affair as that wave gets pushed into uh, Raccoon and Ruck. Going to be able to collect a lot of that. CS still should be like 5 down. Uh, probably just from the fight, losing some minions earlier on, but in any event, just hard farming it up. Neither team really wanting to push the early game too quickly, just content to get some CS, wait on some first item spikes, and then continue onward from there. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of this at just lull state. Ooh, level Ooh, six. Just lazy, lazy. nice chain. Very nice. I think if my dream doesn't take six there, it's a harder commit from Mr. Lazy, but... But as soon as Lissandra takes six, you can't be two as... Oh, Bane of Hades not six. Saiyan has a chance for the solo kill. Good healing from Bane means that he does get out. The true damage proc not doing enough damage. Maybe with the exhaust, you have a chance on the movement speed slow, but not going flash forward, though. Oh. That's the solo kill. It was a little delayed, but we get it done in the end. And top lane going to Camille thus far. Bane of Hades had the flash, just did not have the reaction times. Nope, flash and ghost still available in the end. And that's a huge wave he has to miss as well. Queen Sun York is coming in here. Is he going to yep. find him? I mean, Saren will not win this. He has to hawk shot out. Or not hawk shot out. Hook shot, sorry. Uh, questionable oh, no. flash there. A but, bit uh... of a... Yeah, not sure if he uh, needed to look for that one. You know, it's, it's pretty early in league terms for the time. Just after two, so... Might, might need a little waking up here. Yep. And some of that wave is ended up collected by Bane of Hades, so it doesn't lose all of that juicy minion XP. And again, maybe it was only a few minions off that level 6 himself during the trade. Uh, <laughs> quite unfortunate, but something you have to look at at the top line. Like, hey, when is this guy ticking 6? Bane of Hades misses the calculation. Sayern takes the opportunity and makes the most of it. Mr. Lazy is doing some work here in mid lane. Yeah, uh, Lissan or not Lissandra, sorry, LeBlanc is a little annoying to deal with. She has decent wave clear in her own right with the W, and then can use that same wave clear to absolutely pop you with ludicrous amounts of kill pressure, as Mr. Lazy needs to just yep, distortion away. As soon as Lissandra starts walking up like that, you gotta get out. If you get point click ulted, you just die. Hoonsung is gonna be spotted out here. E misses from Daywid will just be a disengage from both sides. No one, again, wanting to take that poor fight this early on. Man of Hades now collecting the Krug camp tax as the behind top laner. Yes, I was once told by a friend that Krugs are property of top lane. Uh, once you get to the point where you can clear him, yep, Zayrin looking for another train of Man of Hades. Nothing really eventful happening there. Bane is taking the backseat in this lane pretty hard now that Saren has Sheen in inventory. Uh, yeah, but now that he has six, he, he hopefully Ooh. should not die again. Oh, uh -oh. Nebulous is trying to sneak this, but I don't think he realized that all of Penn State is right here. Now he has to go over the wall to the other side. Well, the Ashalt would have probably missed in the end, but Mr. Lazy goes over for that one. And Goldie coming through. Poonsong. Oh, that's a little close that for was... comfort. That's just a little closer than you'd like to see, but it all worked out. Yeah, again, good catch there. I, th I don't think Nebulous expected the entire team to be sitting right on uh, bot side river. <laughs> yeah, and started the, to sneak that dragon. The thing to note about Viego, his E, that little... Be quiet here for a second, this might be a fight. Not his here. E, when he uses it, the mist, is actually visible on the entire map, even if you don't have vision. So even though they did not have vision, Ooh, once double he used comes that... in, David. Not gonna get taken out yet. Raccoon trying to get damage out. Exhaust goes out as extra. Also having to arcane shift away, taking a good bit of damage. Raccoon and Ruck 
pretty much fine for the exchange again. Very even bot lane thus far. Uh, his first tail looks to be the plan for Nebulous and Saiyan. My dream as well. Heading up. Just gonna make sure Mr. Lazy doesn't pull off any. Yeah, he just he's just looking. He's you know looking for something with Harold down though. No reason to continue a possibly failing pursuit. Oops, stun comes through. It's gonna be good damage onto extra. Just this kidding. is where Zareth, it's really annoying is when you're pushed under tower. Yeah, now you're gonna force them all the way off too. Look how far you have to walk because this his Q is from tower is about half the way to the next tower if he's standing there. Quite so, and that's gonna be another whole plate for this Penn State bot lane. They do not have the reset right now. Playing this very nicely. That's a huge I mean it doesn't feel like it's like alright, we got poked out, we reset now, but that's actually Pretty huge loss overall of XP and creeps for the side of NYU. That's gonna hurt as Bane of Hades, a little bit in here as Sayrin still has the ultimate. Good by Bane of Hades, he understands he is just dead. Just go for the kill. He gets the trade kill as well. So, while not exactly the best of situations, hey man, you get the trade kill in the already doomed situation. Uh, you just gotta take oh, the O's. There's the Ash Arrow, but can Mr. Lazy can act? Yes, he can! There's no time available. For the ultimate and my dream taken down not oh, not really a solo kill but raccoon with a great enchanted crystal arrow to make that one possible yeah i'm gonna give all the credit over to him <laughs> mr lazy did do the follow-up but that arrow was perfectly timed quite an nice arrow needed now oh this bot uh -oh. extra and daywood this is not where you want to be friend this ash is gonna get some auto attacks off and you are going to be in a world of hurt as Putsug Yard flashing forward, has a pillar. David flashing a return, but there is the ultimate. Chained up. Putsug actually going quite low, needs to back away. Heal comes out. David going low. Flash from Raccoon, unnecessary. Ruck has already got that one on lock. Extra flashes away, but the auto attacks do not get canceled for that one, buddy. And that is two quick kills for the Penn State bot lane. Courtesy with some help from Raccoon as Saren taking down his bottom tower. I'm not really sure how much the meal wants to do here. It's Oh, Poon actually just did a bit of damage. Yeah, the, way. she has Trinity Force. She's probably not all that concerned about it being 3v1 right now. Yeah, she'll at least get one trade kill for her effort. Is it lazy? Can go for another trade in mid. Good chains. And yeah, my dream just having a really rough time of it. Has not been able to find yeah. a good angle to get that ulti off. Down about 30 CS now. It's not looking too good. No, nah, it's when you're down CS on a little Blanc, it's uh, it's a hard life. Has kill pressure and the wave push is uh, not the best of situations. Running will make no difference. And yeah, it's gonna be kind of a sit there and farm, switching lanes a bit. Extra going top lane. Raccoon pretty much has to get forced off until Ruck rejoins because this Camille will just solo dive and Ash. Uh, it's not yeah. it's not really a comparable one. So a little bit of a mismatch here for PSU actually. Really should try to get, uh, especially recruit out of the situation. Ult did he just force Nebulous. the alt out? Yeah, he did. And Mr. Lazy, that means he has full reign to go for, but he can't find the chains, and that means Nebulous will just get to walk away. I was a little concerned what what Rock was doing there. He's going on a bit of a trip, but he finds Viega. Yep. Now look at that. Look at the red side vision control there in the bot river. That is not what you want to see if you're blue side right before a dragon. Yeah. Not the best. Either event. Not really too much pressure from either team to get this Drake if they don't want it. It's really just you want the fight to force out some extra gold, but it looks like NYU will kind of opt into this one. They do have crab up, so they have Vision, Bane of Hades, though not going to be joining this. Just going to split push here on Trinomir topside, so Penn State... Had a man disadvantage, needs to find an early pick to really get this one going. But oh, oh Saren found Raccoon on the backside. Oh, and Mr. Lazy shuts down the Ezreal, finds him as Ruck going berserk onto the Trundle. Can't do anything. It's another shutdown. Make it four. Penn State falls apart instantly with the multi pick on front and back. Mr. Lazy dives into his death. Raccoon caught out alone on the backside. And. Bane of Hades still just trying to get what he can top lane, and that is disaster. Yeah, I I, I don't know why the Ash is being left alone. I, um, I think he, he cleared bot wave and was walking up. And no yeah, I, came down that's that's what I mean. I, 
you need not that Mr. Raccoon needs a babysitter, but you need an ADC babysitter when you have no vision on the Camille. And now Camille and Viego, extremely strong. Big shutdowns as well coming through onto or from Raccoon and Mr. Lazy, respectively. Gonna put a, a lot of. A lot of stress on Penze now, who had a pretty solid gold lead, despite being mostly even in kills and the first Herald not being in their favor. But that's slowly slimming down to pretty much even gold standing and even dragon standing after that play. Yeah, it's about 400 gold right now. I mean, this is one of the problems we've seen with a lot of the like, Penn State games. It just it goes really, really well in the early game, and then it's just one very poorly played fight. And it becomes very hard for them to work back in. Fate of Haze now. Finding some aggression. Saren, much more fed. Yeah, almost just straight up kills him in three auto attacks. It's the uh, downside of the Gale Force build. You're not very tanky. Yeah, you're pretty much relying on not getting locked in CC. Yeah, meanwhile, we're going to try to force down this spot lane tier 1 as the tier 2 top is under siege. Fate of Hades again. Can't really contest. Oh, you go by Ruck and try to clear out some of this wave, so... Bane yeah, I was just about up. to say he needs to do that. But without that, not much other help coming for Bane. Both these champions, fantastic dives. Yep, and Bane walks a little bit too close to the bush. Almost gets caught. And just to get away without the R, though. Yeah, I mean, this is just going to be pain now. This Camille has gotten way too far ahead. The last fight is huge for Saren. Getting the shutdown on to Ash. My dream needs to be careful. Chains connect. That There's chain. the frozen tomb. As Flick comes out, it doesn't matter. Poonsung does flash forward to grab that one. We're going to trade for second Herald. Not exactly that big of a deal, but top lane tier 2 falling means that in terms of cross map gold, not really any difference made. No, and after this Herald goes down, chances are it's actually the NYU that comes out on top of the gold trade. Yeah, I mean, this is a. It's, it's, a, it's like one of those empty kills. Like, yeah, congratulations, you killed us on the sideline, but they already had Renata there to respond to wave. So it just kind of congrats you had a kill. It means nothing. There's no, there's no real like you don't get any other advantage from this. Whereas top lane tier two goes down in favor of Saren, who's now going to move to the bot side and start running down those towers. And I don't think Mr. Lazy is the one you necessarily want contesting the Camille because there's very few options for LeBlanc in that one. One auto attack and you're pretty much dead. Yeah, and you get Ard and. Doesn't matter how many dashes you have, you're Maybe not already just look for this kill, by the way. There's no Frozen Tomb available on my dream. No Flash either. So, it's uh, a the... bit of a bad position. He's like, I'm going to get this Gromp first, though. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Definitely go for the Gromp. You want that farm. You want that XP. You know. Get it, my dream. Oh, barely doesn't take that E as Gale Force forward. Gets him with the Ever Frost. Nebulous, though, in the area. There you go. Oh, no. He walks right into him. has the ult. Yep, pops it, going for Nebulous, has to flash over the wall, has to flash. flashes in kind, almost out, but it's two kills for the Trindamir. And now, just as Camille was doing in the last fight, it is big boy for PSU on the top line online. Putin New York though, finding two extra, almost dead instantly. The subjugate Q just does so much damage. And with that, the mid lane turret falls in favor of Penn State Blue. And there we finally see them getting some picks, playing the map a little bit smarter in terms of where they can and cannot be. Camille just kind of isolated down in the bot lane, and we get a few quick kills. Uh, my dream, I think, disrespecting the ability of Trindamir to come from behind. The test of good uh, through jungle, there's not any defensive vision in that area. It's all been invested down to help this Camille out on bot side. So, yeah, very if, well done. If I, if I was my dream there, I would... If you don't see Trinomir, you really cannot be past the... Uh, past your own chunk hole there. Or at least have overwall vision would be ideal. Yeah, when you have... One ward in that entire top side. Not great. Extra uh, Maddox didn't have much of a choice in the matter. He, he, he just got a one into a Trindamir. They're not Trindamir. Uh... Alright, Mr. Lazy's dead, by the way. This is not a winnable situation. Especially when you send the clone outside of the... Uh... <laughs> outside of well, the ult never, you can't he, escape he, from. You never know. I might have fallen for that if I was the clone. That's going to be a very big turn push in the bot lane. Definitely going to get the tier 2 bot. As I say, not responding to the dragon. They're going to try to force down two, two, two towers on their own. But my dream is here. So wave clear is around. This is, is going to be a little bit slow at this. And yes, Aaron's easily going to get this tier 2 top turret. Or tier 2 bot turret. Plus the dragon. Yeah, I understand they're 
I understand their thinking here. This is what I was saying. It's just avoid the team fights. They made that mistake at the second dragon. But yeah, but now they're losing. You're inhibitor giving team. too much. Yeah, you're losing an inhibitor turret here. I think the dragon and the uh, bomb is fine, but you can't lose an inhibitor turret for this. Because now Camille just has free reign to walk up and bot. Yeah, Camille is up. Looking at the gold graphs here on my screen, Camille is up 1k on the Trinomir now. Uh, the Viego is actually up. 2,000 gold on Poonsung Yark. Yep, 40 CS lead, more kills. The state is gold lead is mostly an AD carry in mid, and then support, but it's there, so you know. Yeah, support does have an 1,100 gold lead right now. But it's there, it's, it's, it's a mage, man. It gets kills, it does damage, it's like Lux. It's the same basic gist, it's a champion you don't mind having gold on. Let's just be a wave cleared out here in Penn State, down in the bot lane. Make sure that inhibitor's not under too much threat as three-man group up here. Oh, but there's a TP coming in from... Yeah, they're looking for some kind of play. I I think they thought they were deeper in the jungle, potentially. Yeah, I think they saw Ruck moving his way up to the river, and they thought they could get on him before he got out, but... Yeah, so that's the TP down. Uh, won't be up for next dragon, so Lissandra not going to be easily up in that top lane. Uh, instead... Still a bit of a lame matchup. Ping's on to Baron for Penn State. Maybe looking to get some scouting. Yep, scouts out a few. His beta Hades finds Nebulous. Uh, has the ulti. Doesn't want to burn just yet with the amount of enemies in the area, but with Nebulous burning his, oh, he will respond in kind. Can he actually get out of this one? Gale Force forward. Ruck needs to find the stun, but the shutdown's there. And now Ruck can't find the stun either with the reset. And Nebulous gets his revenge. And with that kill on Trinomir, the Baron is immediately started. It's a 4v5. Nebulous already back to full HP, not missing anything out for this one. The Baron already down to 5k. This is going down extremely fast. Penn State not in time to spawn. 1k, 1500. They're just letting Zareth shoot his shots. Not putting the Baron down. He's at 300. It's smited away. Missile is not able to do this. Flash forward from Notre. Can't find anything just yet. Flash away from Ruck on Saren from the side. Missile are trying to get on him, but the hold is there. And it's just a massacre for NYU thus far. Missile trying to get out. Shutdown does come out on the Camille, but the Renata bought so much time. Double kill for the Ezreal. Raccoon doing his what he hit from the side as well. Nebulous on a killing speed. Raccoon, though, can't dodge the Mystic Shot, and it's a full-on ace for NYU with the Baron to boot. Well, as far as things go, that's about as worse as worse as what you could expect to happen. Yeah. Uh, Once again, Penn State trying to opt into the 4v5 on their own volition. And for the first time this game, NYU has substantial gold lead. 1,000 in the positive direction, only set to grow as this Baron plays out. And with the Dragon spawning in two minutes, they're the ones with the stacking priority they can choose to give or push. They already have an inhibitor exposed down there in bot lane. NYU looking very good as we go later into this mid game. And honestly, Extra Matic gets so much out of that fight. He got kills on everybody, triple kill. Putting up to four and one, and now the uh, high damage Ezreal should be coming online. We'll be able to pretty much one shot Raccoon or Ruck and another yeah. item. To put it simply, he hurt. Yeah, he do, he do hurt a bit. He hurt good. Yeah. He got a uh, lot of burst damage. A lot of burst damage. He's got his armor pen now. He is still down gold on the Ash, but um. Ezreal at this point is okay being down gold just because he is such a harder scaler. Can you tell the truth? Pensei gonna be forced to give away the mid lane tier one here. That's the result of the Baron. I uh, just can't get that Baron wave easily. As topside jungle belongs to NYU at the moment. Gonna take away that red buff, get that to Saren. Uh, Vio does get stunned up a bit as just to get some poke damage through. Root comes down. Nebulous, Trinity Force, fairly tanky. More of a bruiser, Viego. As Ruck gonna pop the all just to stop some resets, make sure that Nebulous can't get an easy way back to base. Mr. Lazy, yeah, it all started out by joining Oracle Legends. Does get stunned. Alessandra uh, going forward, looking for his saver, and Root comes down on a raccoon! But he's not the old target of the ulti, so he can't just kite away. Mr. Shot goes a little short as the fight commences. Made of Hades in on the backside. Into the ulti, Saren. No, Saren's so low. Why are you attacking extra? The old fi W finally comes through from Renata as Raccoon grabs a kill. And it ends up being a one for one. 
I think target selection there for Penn State could have been a little bit better. He saw the Renata W on him, so he decided to hit someone else, but he just his R did not last long. Yeah. And the rest of Penn State not able to follow up. It will still be the Dragon over to the side of NYU. And now Penn State, sole point situation against them, two, almost 3K gold deficit. Yeah, and this trundle is stunted, to say the least. Uh, yeah, this is a, this is definitely a troll cheat, not a troll king. Yeah, and he went, he went the Randu in second, which is fine, but you're giving up a lot of Bork damage. That'd be really nice into the Camille and the Diego. He's just trying to go for a tank frontline build at this point. He's so far back. I mean, it, at the point they're at now, the map state, you're basically hoping LeBlanc is going to pop someone before a fight, or you're going to get a really good enchanted crystal arrow. Yep, that says it again. Penn State does not have that great of options of picking their own fights. Uh, they have their pick potential is LeBlanc and Ash. Which kind of trundle, but again, Pillars, when you have stuff like Camille and Lissandra and Diego and Ezreal, like, Pillar is not the end all be all of Engage. No yeah, one here point, is actually a mobile. At this point, the arcane shift I just looked is at 10 seconds, so uh, cooldown accelerates with every hitch ability as well. So it's going to be 16 seconds on the trundle pillar. You're not going to be able to lock him down. Nope. It's to be Penn State looking for a pick, possibly convert it into a dragon to stop this soul scaling. Ocean Soul would definitely be a rough one for them to deal with with Nebulous and Saren having this much power in the game, uh, not to mention extra. Now, with no objectives on the field, nothing really to fight over. Both teams gonna be content to just play some ping pong. Push waves back and forth. Bane of Hades is gonna respond to Saren down here in bot. Saren, level 16. Trindamir waiting on his. Uh, we are getting close to a third item for Trindamir. Uh, we're still going crit, so we haven't built any defensive items on him just yet. No death stance or anything like that. As Nebulos finds Boon they're gonna look for it, but oh. with Mr. Lazy unable to find anything in the arrow going wide. Gonna be as Bane of Hades might be dead here actually. Yeah, there comes the Alton. Can't push his own. The arc he is stuck. And that's a solo kill once again for Sayarin. And an open inhibitor awaiting him up here in the bot lane. Yeah, we're Penn Yeah, Penn State's not even gonna bother. Top. Yeah, they're rotating top. They know they can't contest that Camille either. Right now they're saying to each other, you go bot. No, you go bot. No, you go bot. Yeah, I mean, no one really wants to take that responsibility away. But, I mean, it's, the inability of Chidimia to really do much against this Camille is certainly hurting at this point. You don't get a good response, and now Penn State also going to be forced to respond to the Baron. Once again, a member down. They're going to lose an inhibitor for this almost certainly. So, Penn State, you got to opt into the contest. There's not much else you can do. The Renata ult's already used. Mr. Lazy gets hit as David is buying some time, flashes away, but he's hooked up. He uses the W on himself, so he is just dead. Trinimir is back one. up the contest. Uh, yeah, that's a great contest, buddy. You're losing the inhibitor. <laughs> <laughs> the inhibitor is gone, whether Trinimir is there or not. Saren is a true and tried raid boss. Then he's still not 16, but the Ash Arrow does connect. Oh! So maybe they can get some stun. The long range, not using the chains. Now channels it as my dream teleporting in. Bane of Hades doesn't do any damage. The Death Dance is doing so much work. It's lasting so long and dies before he gets a oh, kill. No! Saren, the triumph, the heals. Mr. Lazy trying to get away, but my dream is going in. Good stun by Ruck to buy more time. But there's the Zonya's Hourglass. And it's Saren, the prediction on the hook shot to go back toward the distortion. As oh my god! Feels the dang bear on the other side of the map. <laughs> buys a little bit more time from Fed State, but what is going on? Saren oh, outplaying Mr. Lazy and Bane of Hades top lane. That hook shot was fantastic. That was that was not like a hold on the wall and wait and see where he goes. That was an immediate just go right for the distortion. That Mr. Lazy's just. Read. I don't. Mr. Lazy, honestly, I don't know what else he could have done. He just got out predicted. Unfortunately, uh, full crit Trindamir uh, isn't great at doing a beatdown fight with a. Four item bruiser tank Camille. Well, the only lucky thing is don't last long enough to deal that much damage. 
Foonstone Kyark did steal the Baron, which is honestly the only reason they haven't lost another in Yeah, I mean, this that's, that's the only reason they're not losing straight up right now with a Nexus push. And luckily, Raccoon and Ruck do have Baron, so they're able to push back a little bit. But again, Soul Drake is up, and that's the final spent you get for the Baron, is now you're dealing with Ocean Soul. And if you look down those item blocks, there ain't much. David jumped on again, but it is just Renata, and she's so still not she is. dying to Ocean Soul doing so much as Raccoon finally gets the containment down, but My Dream slays him immediately. Boots the Yark can't even find his way. Anyway, Vader Hayes is late for the fight, grabs a kill, I believe, with the Gale Force. Yep. Yeah. No, not yet. There were not a W. Yeah, not a W is fine. That's a triple kill. Mr. Lee's trying to run away. Hey, this is just the go next fast. Uh, Saren finally finds this lady on the backside. Penn State tried to fight into the Ocean Soul. They just don't have any anti heal. They don't have enough damage. And that will be game, set, and match here for NYU. You have to feel. Yeah, it would, it would take something pretty extraordinary here to not end. Yep, maybe they go back after we they see uh, Raccoon and Ruck respawn, but honestly, uh, this game looking pretty much over. Nexus turret one will fall, Nexus turret two shortly thereafter. And there goes the Nexus falling, falling. They're gonna go look for a few more kills, but we'll just end the game. That will be game one over to NYU. Extremely well played by their side, despite some early game issues. Saren absolutely styling on Penn State. Yeah, that's top gap, plain and simple. <laughs> yep, and that was a Trindomir R5 counter pick as well. That was the counter matchup. Yes, that was not how you want your counter pick top to go. Yeah. That is... Quite unfortunate indeed, because uh, that top lane—that's where the problem started. Is once that once Trinomir became too far behind to really fight on his own against Camille, no one else on Penn State has the power to respond to that champion. LeBlanc is hard countered by it. Trundle's way too far behind, and his build is not made for dueling. It's it's a very rough go. Yeah, you can't falling behind you're it's hard enough even if you don't fall behind but when you fall behind that hard it just becomes nearly impossible quite indeed and well let's see what penn state wants to adjust here have a lot of thoughts going here into game two again maybe we see more of the simple stupid easy comp uh to round it out because this is where push comes to shove it's a best of three baby you're on the line uh chance of semi is the prize and nyu i'm sure has no qualms about closing it out here so with that, we're going to take a few minute break. Uh, we'll be back to preview you guys game two.
All right, thank you guys for waiting a minute as we get everything set up here for game two. Once again, to update, NYU taking first game 1-0 to zero in a pretty close early game, but dominating in the mid to late game uh, with how they played it out. As we get ready to go into draft here for game two, looking at Penn State, maybe go with some different ideas uh, in terms of what they want to play draft-wise. Top lane, certainly an area of contention to look at, considering got counterpick last game and could not make much happen with it. Maybe either play around it more is the answer or just simply figure out a better matchup. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, I, I don't think the draft was bad. Um, the Trinomir just did not do what they needed it to do as an R5 counterpick. But we will see here. NYU yep. did go with blue side again, so Penn State will get the counter pick on R5 again. This is very true. So they still have that opportunity to get a beneficial matchup for when this one kicks off. As we are waiting on the draft to start. I already have the screen change. Just as my... There we go. Draft is up. Got it. Caitlin, banned away once again by NYU. I'm assuming this first round of bands is going to be very similar. Yeah, I we don't, I do don't the, think we're going to see any changes here. We might see the Camille get banned just because. Even then, I think it gets banned second round. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think NYU is confidence isn't the right word I'm looking for here, but I don't think NYU is willing to pick that blind in first phase. I think that will definitely be a second phase pick still, just to make sure you have like a good comp. Like the Penn State just doesn't pick a competition that deals with Camille well. Like again. Well, Camilo is very strong, not an uncounterable champion, even if it's not something like one-to-one -one lane counter, just in team comp style. Like, if you just can't dive up. Like, Camille had a pick of the litter there for who she dives on. You have Immobile AD Carry, you have LeBlanc, who has no way to deal with Camille once she actually presses R. It's very, it was just very good game. <laughs> once you beat Tridomir, there's just no one who can answer you in the side lane. And at this point, yeah, Vanguard? it's actually with a block ban. So trying to target out one from Mr. Lazy. Yeah, I mean, his, his LeBlanc was very good in lane until he ran into that Camille. Yeah, I mean, the LeBlanc was certainly doing extremely well. Unfortunately, couldn't get a lot of picks in the team fights. The only team fight that I fought was a very weird 4v5. Uh, that did not go well and was kind of the start of Penn State's world. They will be at Camille here in the first phase. So not willing to deal with that one. So, might as well just take it away. Thought we might have saved for a second phase ban, but we'll settle for taking it out now. Now, NYU has a priority pick. Could go with the Renata again. Not sure if the Renata was all that effective in game one, but they're going to take it and run it back. The W, probably the most useful aspect of that champion thus far that we've seen. Yeah, Renata's also good to take away from Ruck because um, I believe Ruck has only played Renata since it came out and ranked. Um, Ruck's gonna go with the Zareth again. Yeah, just immediately into the Zareth. And yeah, Zareth, mm -hmm. this is gonna be so far, so so far, very familiar draft playing out. Again, Zareth Ash performed very well overall. Uh, I think Raccoon maybe not being able to just get the damage out of those fights a little bit too in for an AD carry, especially one with the range as Ash. But hey, happens, man. Will we see the Ezreal then? I mean, yeah, if we see Ezreal here, this is literally the same draft. Ezreal Viego would uh, round this one out. Uh, yeah, there's yep. Ezreal. We are going to grab that one. Felt good about that bot lane. Of course, once that Ezreal got that triple kill, very effective play from Extramatic. Does so much damage. Able to just blow up the squishies on Penn State. They're thinking. Thinking yeah, about it here. Thinking about it. I'm not sure. Again, this is where the draft is more varied. So if you want to go for it. Oh! Kha'Zix. That's this does spicy. Take away the option. This does take away the option for Hecarim. Or at least deters it. Oh. 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 They don't want to ban away. They're going Kaisa mid, baby. Oh, jeez. And then they ban the Lissandra. Blind Kaisa mid. Yeah, so we'll probably see two mid lane bans if I had to guess. Yeah. Absolutely, Viego banned away as well because Penn State's gonna get first pick on the jungle, as well. So trying to limit that one out, and they're gonna oh, ban yeah, another split push top laner. 
No Trindamir is still up and available if NYU wants to take away, given that Penn State picks jungle here and saves top lane for counterpick again. We'll see. NYU likes to take their time with their bands, though. Keep us in suspense. Trying to think about it a bit. I mean, this is second round. This is where you're trying to adapt pitch lanes. They can choose to either continue pitching the jungle pool of Poonsa and Yark. Uh, instead, they're going to ban away the poppy, which technically can go both ways. Yep, that's definitely a flex. Uh, yeah, interesting to see what they elect for here. I'm guessing it'll just be the jungle. I don't think you... I don't think you give counterpick to jungle when you already see their jungle in bot lane. Oh! There we go. Ooh. A moo moo. So this is that. This is the engage button. This is the tanky engage button that we that we get now for uh, Pense Blue. It was a part I said that like, hey, you want an easy to execute competition? Have something to just kick off fights. A moo moo. His mom lets him have two bandage tosses now. He's a big yeah. lad. He can do some pretty cool CC stuff. But Trindamere. NYU responds with Trindamere, so we have even more undying uh, on this team with Renata plus the Trind. Uh, we could just see... Ooh, okay! Silas with Ash ult and a Mumu ult. Zerath ult even pretty good if he can hit his shots. We could just see Bane of Hades go Scion here. True, could look to see a Scion angle. You are at plenty of damage between Ash, Kai'Sa, and Zerath. You got three very high damage threats. Uh, Ash less so, but Kai'Sa makes up for it. Oh, Gags? This is, that's no, this actually is, yeah, this really is a good nice. Match. This is a good, yes! All right, we saw, um, I think Bwipo was a big encourager of this matchup in the LCS. So we're going to get Jack's Bwipo, top uh, of the Trindamir. Bwipo plays whatever, though. <laughs> He's a good top player, man. <laughs> Bwipo, Bwipo's just locking in Shivana top left and right. He doesn't my, care anymore. My, my man did his duty in the jungle. He's, ba he's back to top lane. <laughs> um... Now we got the boo -boo. <laughs> I am so sorry, Consolo, from the past, because our stream is running on a two-minute delay. Uh, it is not an Udyr. <laughs> Though I will admit, oh. yes, this would be a pretty freaking amazing Udyr game. <laughs> yeah, the Jax is... Jax and Udyr for the same reasons. I mean, it's yeah, all... Yeah, it's... Well, even just Udyr, like, Silas, what is he going to steal on Udyr? Hey, I'm that Trinidad. Phoenix stand. Yeah. Doesn't, he he doesn't stands care. pretty frightening. Trindamir, Udyr doesn't care. Kha'Zix, Udyr doesn't care. Man just runs at you, man. He doesn't need to do much else. Let's we hop on over to regular draft. And this is good. This is a, this is another fun one. Again, bot lane, the same dynamic we saw last game, which means I'm expecting Penn State to be very advantaged, uh, as they were in game one. Of course, getting some early help from Poonsung uh, in the beginning. It is note that Penn State sticking with this roster, so not switching anyone up. Still Raccoon in the bot lane, Mr. Lazy Mid, and Poonsung and Ruck in their respective positions from game one. Yep. And, I mean, now we got to see how this Kaisa mid works, man. <laughs> yeah, I am... Silas, so burst potential on Kaisa, very high. I have not gotten to see too much of it. I saw Faker um... play it, and he kind of ran it down, but that was more because he just killer instinct into four people a lot. Yeah, uh, I've seen, I saw Faker do it that one game in LCK, and then I saw his solo Q streams. But other, I have not seen it much in, what do you call it, standard competitive play. Uh, it's right about now that Consolo is realizing there's no Udyr, and he's probably crying. Is uh, Ripperino's. Okay. We're just going to keep rounding out the draft. I I like the adaptation for Penn State a lot. Uh, they're dealing with a Trindamir, which is a little, uh, a little rough. But, hey, you counter pick it with a Jax. I like that they have a Mumu for very easy engage, which with Kaisa mid, you have extremely good follow-up as well. Killer Instinct in. Jax can jump on top as well with Counter-Strike up. You have Raccoon who can kick off fights. I think Penn State is a much more rounded composition in this game in terms of ability to play the way they want to. They don't have to stick, they don't have to be uh, very excruciating in how they stick to plans. Their pick potential is way higher, which is how they were, uh, how they were able to like kind of get some advantages last game. It's like 
Trinity Mary got a pick somewhere onto Lissandra, or Mr. Lazy Z was able to chunk someone down, or an Ashalt found somebody. That's going to be even just more amplified, and they have, I think, better team fighting overall. Uh, you're not relying on Trundle to try to 1v1 people as, like, his whole shtick. NYU, on the other hand, still kind of the same basic game plan. You have this poke, very mobile bot lane. Renata's there to do what Renata does. Uh, Kha'Zix is looking for picks in the jungle. And then Silas is your freaking mid lane burst threat. <laughs> that goes melee range just like Lissandra does. A little bit less CC intensive, but lots more damage. So much more access onto the back line for Raccoon, Ruck, and Lazy that they got to deal with and worry about with that uh, abscond abduct potential as well as cause it's coming off of a flank. Trinomir, of course, not uh, not unmobile himself. Unmobile. Unmobile. Im immobile. immobile. Whatever. English, man. That's it. We we're having English. We're going to have a caster's English class. We're going to nah, contact I, an I, English I, professor. I ain't not doing none of that there I, yeah, English. I, now you're talking my now you're speaking my native. I tongue. did my time in English fifteen. I'm not going back. <laughs> you can't make me. Anyway, it's gonna be a very fun game to watch play out. I'm gonna be curious how uh Bane of Hades piles up Jax. We saw the Trindemir last game into the Camille. We'll have to see how he enjoys this matchup. I believe Jax does I'm not sure when Jax actually wins this matchup. I know it's a counter matchup, I just don't know when it is. Um so you can bully him earlier in the lane, and then I believe after 6, the Trinomir, obviously because of his R, just ends up smacking him down. Uh, just looking at this patch's stats in Platinum Plus, Trinomir does win lane slightly more often and wins the game slightly more often, so it's pretty even. That overall, also might actually. just because Trinomir is... Uh, yeah, it's Trinomir in solo queue. A little is, nuts in solo queue. ...is significantly strong. Yeah. <laughs> Very strong. Very good champion at the moment. Um, and well, I mean, Sayerin, we've already seen, is very good at the game, so can definitely play out uh, to their favor. In the meantime, though, we got two minutes of Spectre delay. We'll be back, talk more about the game once the game actually begins. So sit back, enjoy the music. We'll be back in a few minutes.
All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for waiting. We're back from the uh, from the draft here, loading on into game. Renata did not buy a skin between games. That's unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, we got a bathroom pause as well as we load on in, so you guys can come watch the yellow screen with us. Welcome Is that back. a bathroom joke? Uh, no, they're actually... Someone's using the bathroom. <laughs> no, but you said yellow screen. Was that a bathroom joke? Oh, I suppose it is. Completely unintentional, mind you, but... Oh. So we're... Instead of going between games, we shall go in-game. Oh, man. This chat is interesting. Uh, apparently, Penn State is also elected to take a bathroom no, no, break. No, both. It's Penn State originally. So Penn State is the primary offenders, I believe. Uh, no, actually, originally it was NYU. It's NYU. Their top had to go. Okay. Uh, and now Ruck has informed NYU that their team would also like to take a bathroom break. Ah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> We did not have 15 minutes between the game to go. So we're going to wait till the game starts. Eh. Too excitable. You realize you're on the loading screen and you have nothing to do. Finally, you understand that uh, nature calls and you must answer. You don't, get to, you don't get to send nature to voicemail. True gamers can. In any event, curious to see how the jungle pathing goes. Amumu, not known for his early clear speed. Uh, does have banish toss and stuff to make some ganks if he so elects to, but honestly, besides, even with bot lane, kind of a hard angle to go on to early. You do need a little bit more setup. Or like a good, like uh, say like Sayerin or someone's overextending. Again, yeah, it's, it's not it's a, a moo, moo, but like Mr. Lazy, it's not LeBlanc this time. You know the you don't have W forward chain even on level two, uh, for a nice easy damage plus lockdown. You are running with a level like one to three or er, like three to five Kaisa in the early game. So yeah, generally the Amumu likes. It's not that he can't just go in and bandage toss, but generally he likes his laner to be able to slow or root them before. Um. Jax can do that, but obviously it's going to be pretty obvious when he's trying to set it up. Um, yeah, and Zareth just, can do you it. You know, it's casually walking at you with Counter Strike going. I'm just going to spin this thing above my head Don't and walk about at it, you man. slowly. It's, it's fine, man. Don't worry about it. My jungler is not here. <laughs> Trust me. Perfectly, it is perfectly safe for you to be next to me right now. Perfectly safe. Uh, apparently NYU's top has still not returned. It is uh, a rough send. Penn State has returned, though. Okay, so just waiting on the last stragglers. As we wait on this one to start up. Let's check. Let's check. While well, we got a little bit of time here, let's check the caster sheet and see if any uh, any teams. But maybe we got some more games later tonight. Uh, looking like no, no. So if any captains from any other teams or just team members of any other teams in the Invitational, uh, would like to try to have their game cast. Please, put your game times in that sheet so we know when they are. We can't read minds. Or hack into your Discord DMs. Uh, I can tell you the <laughs> other matches that will be happening today, even if they aren't being casted. Penn State White versus George Brown College. Texas A&M versus Iowa State. University of South California versus Drexel. And then, obviously, the current game. Yep. NYU versus PSU Blue. Taking the rift. At some point. Oh god. 
the in-game chat. Yeah, I have, uh, it, I, have it, I have it closed on my end for a reason. I understand uh, what goes on. We are not pro view. We do not condone the actions. Uh, they've begun talking about Elden Ring. Ah, small. Uh, see, that that game's like that small indie company game. You know, really backwards. Not a lot of advertising. Player base is pretty small. You know. <laughs> Well, uh, Mr. Lazy Maybe has not niche for beat some the people. first boss, and uh, he's currently asking for tips on how to beat the first boss. Uh, I have a tip for you, Mr. Lazy. It is don't. It is one of old worth to the, to the Souls community. Get good, my friend. Uh, the uh, NYU support has told him to prage. That's good advice. Very good. We also have no shortage of bathroom humor as well. Of course. All right. All right, Runk. We got deep. We're. Uh, I'm running ideas. So we got default to El Clasico on this one. If the creamery started selling milkshakes again, okay, pref preferable flavor. Preferable flavor. Um, so my favorite flavor from the creamery is just strawberry. Oh, you're so a strawberry guy. I I love creamery strawberry. Uh, I know this one is also. I know this is controversial. I also love mint chocolate chip. I feel like the strawberry is more controversial than the mint chocolate chip. I don't hear too many people who like strawberry ice cream. The strawberry ice cream, if you've never had it, is so good. Uh, they have actual strawberries in it. It is absolutely delicious, and I generally have a pint of it in my freezer at all times. So, Penn State ice cream, pretty darn good, you know. Burger Creamery, Food Sciences Department. Trained the guys who made Ben and Jerry's, by the way. I was just going to drop that one in that there. Straight up actually happened. They actually do uh, summer courses as well. Ben and Jerry still sends their ice cream engineers to Penn State every summer to train. Yep. The other cool thing about Penn State's cream is like all the ice cream flavors are actually like made by students or like they were made by students and then incorporated. Yes, because they're the actually all student projects. The agricultural classes all work on those, still make them. We are resuming, actually. Yes, we do. We are resuming. The ice cream discussion is over for now. It will zoom as soon as we get a standard five point as we get the pause glitch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Happens. Yeah. Spectator does not like it when uh, you pause the game as soon as you load in. And by doesn't like it, I mean absolutely breaks the game. There we go. You make sure... All right. Well, we're getting to game two here. NYU up one to zero. Uh, looking to close this one out and make their way on to the semifinals. Penn what? State fighting for their chance to stay in this bracket. As we actually we have an interesting level one. might some spicy here. We have a level one play. Ruck is, Ruck is doing his lane work oh, here. We, oh, uh, this also spectator is, glitch. Yep, spectator glitch. Very good, very good. Uh, looks like Raccoon. We see Ruck will see them and can just. I don't know if they spot it. Okay, Raccoon spots them out. It has volley shot, so yeah, it should be fine. Oh, with the flashes. Okay. Respectful flash from Raccoon. Does burn Dawa. Daywood's as well. But you take those trades if you're Daywood. Support flash, ready carry flash is always worth. Unless you're playing some very interesting supports. Now, I will say it would be a lot easier for Poon Sung Yark to take advantage of the support having no flash than it will be for Nebulous to take advantage of Raccoon having no flash. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kha'Zix early gank is not great, to say the least. Wait, hold on here. Bane of Hades is... He's fiending for some early action. He's going to find uh -oh. Saren. I don't know if Jax, uh -oh. takes, Jax takes the level 1 here. He has Counter-Strike, so yeah, he does. Counter-Strike, yep. Didn't get it up to block that one auto attack, so about even trade and damage. As, yeah, this. What happens when you pause? Eight o'clock. <laughs> People are sitting here coming up with all kinds of crazy ideas. Yep, hey man. Uh, Ice cream is good. And Bane of Hay is already burning a corrupting pot. 
wow. Yeah, he did, did not have the Counter Strike back because of how much longer his cooldown is. So, just got smacked. Oh, he's just gonna trade on to Sayer in here. So, just trying to force him off wave. He's gonna take quite a bit of minion damage and recompense. As, yeah, Band of Haste is currently taking control of his lane. Counter Strike, a strong level 1 tool when you just can't auto attack the enemy champion. Yeah, something tells me uh, Trinomir is pretty big when it comes to auto attacking. Good dodge by Sayer in there. You're making sure to wait to use the E till the counter strike's there. Just dodge on out. Don't burn any auto attacks. In fact, give it a distraction. As level 2 hit once again first for Daywood and Extra. Gonna be able to force Pet State back a bit. And interesting, we have C Cosmic's actually counter juggling going for the Gromp. Already knowing that he had a very weird path, actually. Hold on. He went red Raptors to enemy Gromp. Doesn't? Does Prince of Yark not see him? Uh, not yet, no. Like... Oh, now he, he had a had a ward on the blue, but he must have pathed around the I ward. think he pathed over the wall, but looks like they just spotted him out. Yeah, they spotted him out. They knew he was there. So they will get blue buff. Nebulas does steal away the Gromp. I think as soon as he saw Gromp missing, he knew something was up, because there was no way that Kha'Zix could path there without doing some funky stuff. Uh, either way, Kha'Zix now having to go all the way to topside. My dream, fishing for that abscond. Leaves his poor Krugs all by themselves. Eh, I feel like it's pretty common for a lot of junglers. Krugs is very hard to clear early. Hoonstone Yark is doing something. He's going a long way around here in bot lane. I mean, he's got no camps up. If he doesn't need, if he knows Kha'Zix is the top, no chance for crab, and he might as well come bot now for Raccoon. Getting for Dater Bomb, they heal. Not enough first blood or not as top lane the gate comes through as well in favor of NYU. Nebula is grabbing a quick kill on the Bane of Hades, who's 10 CS down despite everything. David though gonna be traded back, trying to give the kill, I think, to Ruck, but it will go to Pootsung instead. So you do manage to trade one for one as Bane of Hades teleports back up top lane, should he collect both this wave as Sayerin. Oh. He needs to be careful here, but hey, the jungler's still there, Bane. You're alone. There's no minions. You are isolated into a Kha'Zix and Sayerin. We'll take that kill. That's gonna be two waves lost. The kill on top lane, Bait of Hades is, oh, do. And that is, it's not a good start for Penn State here. No, that's, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the first death by Bane, avoidable, but not totally his fault. That second one never should happen. Yeah, that was a, maybe a little overzealous going with the, uh, you forward into the counter strike when you just saw Kha'Zix walk away. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get another. Oh, never mind. Neuronis says no. Uh, Nothing more just fun says than no. grabbing people on Renata and putting them in a timeout chair. She so gets an enhanced swing. It really is. It's just better swing. If you want to have fun with her, draft like a Vagar and grab people and into throw the, them into, into the, cage, the Vagar yeah. cage. Heck yeah. And then you can also do Renata Jinx bot lanes and throw them into the Jinx chompers. Very good. That's what we like to see. In any event, um, Bane of Hades needs to be a little careful with his trip. He's boots up, jumps on, Nebulous in the area. Boots up, Amelia gets fighting. He's a level down. Trying to go back to his band house, but the. Uh, Raptor's gonna say, get down, Mr. President. Nebula's trying to go. Mr. Nebula's here late, but my dream here as well. Does he have the banish shot? Nebula's low. Bane of Hades coming from the enemy jungle. He's in behind, and now it's a 4v1. Stunlock is perfect. That's two kills on Mr. Lazy. And now it is the aggression from NYU, which is punished. So not gonna be a huge difference, as I believe is that a freeze top lane? No, it's gonna be slow pushing for Sayaran. I wanted to check that. So, Bane of Hades is so far behind. He's 20 CS down plus. Oh, he's gonna. Man, he's gonna. Uh, he's probably gonna go to these Krugs though. Um, yeah, he's absolutely gonna get Krugs when they go to lane. Yep. By the way, Penn State fighting back, fighting back. As bot lane, not necessarily going as in Penn State's favor. Maybe do an extra kind of figure in this, figure in this matchup out. Getting used to how uh, Raccoon and Ruck are playing it. Sun misses. Well, he hits, so that's not enough to prompt Poonsuk to come in early. Gonna wait for Extra to walk up, and he will. Ah, but can't find a Banish Toss just out of range. Yeah, he didn't want to use it on the Ezreal, because he knew Ezreal was just gonna the arcane, arcane shift, shift yep. out of there. Unfortunately, the Renata just out of range. Okay. And 
Yeah, Van Hay is just suffering now. Level 4 to level 6. He might get dove here. Tridomir has the ult. Yeah, Tridomir is 6. He's only level 5. He's actually set level 7. It's a 2 level difference at this 6 minutes in. That is a pretty rough spot to be. Just He's actually just farming plates in front of Bane of Hades. Oh, it's... This is... Yeah, this is... Um, wow. Out of prepping pots. Yeah. Yeah, Bane he has Ghost dead. now. Yep. You're dead. Bane of Hades is dead. You got a counter check early. Hopefully Puzo can buy some time. But Puzo's only level 4. He's just going to be able to buy a little bit of time with the after shock. But yeah, Sayra can keep... Honestly, he can probably keep going if he wants to. Uh... Poonsung so York is very lucky that bandage toss just missed. Uh, yeah. That is gonna be two more waves crashing into the turret with, uh, no one to respond to them, and with NYU knowing Amumu's top side, full prior bot side, just going to do this early ocean trick and start on stacking that. And very well done by them. Again, playing around top pressure very well. Of course, it to make unfortunate choices. Because uh, if Mumu's not there, you lose your top laner. If a Mumu is there, I mean, you can ward off and maybe Bane of Hades is emerging slightly less cold. And uh, you just got some Bane is in a, there. Bane, Bane is, is in a really bad oh, no. oh, no. Bane, oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Pay the camera away. <laughs> it's a rip. A uh, directed hey, camera. He's already, he's just... already down almost 30 CS. What's three more? That's three more. Sayrin coming back up. Uh, this Didn't even good. go for the full. Full back. And yeah, this is a significantly rougher start where we sat, saw Penn State get a much more advantage go in the early game in game one. Playing well around the Blanc. The bot lane doing much, much better. Uh, this game, not so hot. Top lane is honestly about the same condition it was in last game. This is about the same point we were at. Uh, mid lane still doing well. Mr. Lazy picking up those two kills. Uh, very huge jungle play is Nebulous. Maybe force off the switch up for now. The Hawkshot's coming in, but I mean, they have Sayrid in the area. Mr. Lazy is here, so careful. The bot lane already rotated up with Renata. And that is an oh, dream. That is beautiful. Boots like finally gets it off his rock. We got a lot of damage. Renata W has been by him so much time in my dream. That means he lives. In the end. Oh, that was a beautiful alt steal into immediate abscond for the Mumu ulti. And with that, two more kills quickly over, as well as the Herald, I think. No, not the Herald. The Herald's still... Where did Herald go? Huh? Uh, I'm not sure. Where did Shelly go? <laughs> it's not in anyone's inventory, so I'm trying to figure out where Shelly uh... went. Did he get taken? Let Is it not me, on the map? Let me read chat. We haven't, yeah, we haven't. It does not say it was taken. Okay, sick. Spectator glitches. Uh, Bane of Hades is dead. This is just a, uh, maybe you'll see a little wishy washy about it. There's the counter strike. Finally, Sayron's gonna finish it off with his ultimate. Or just flashes. That works. Uh, yep, Bane of Hades. Still not, not having a good time. David flashing forward, immediately stunned up. Uh, w's himself as Raccoon still dead. Good bit uh, E in there from extra. Renata all back to hit. Ruck, good flash away. Doesn't have the ulti back yet. And first turret down at 10 minutes. Five solo plates on Trindamir. Oh lord. Yeah, oh my goodness, it's a 3k gold lead in top lane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a lot of gold on Trindamir. Uh, let's put it this way. Trinomir oh. currently has as much gold on him, has a thousand more gold on him right now as he is Bane literally the Penn State. in the game. He is literally the Penn State bot lane. He has as much gold as both Penn State bot laners combined. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, not looking too swift there. That is... Yeah, he is... He is mid, okay, Trinomir's got mythic completion at 11 minutes. This is... Uh, NYU is a little advantaged at the moment. That is quite crazy accelerated as we are at like a 4k gold lead already. This is, yeah, Penn State not having the best times in this one. And for now, just gonna have to settle with trying to, I, play, I mean, Mr. Lazy, that's the person you're playing around now. Raccoon's behind. Your last damage carry that might do something is the Kaisa, and honestly, against Trinomir, I'm not sure how good your odds are. 
That was their, their best odds on the last. Good. Giant Crystal Arrows. Stun in from Amumu. David, nowhere to go. Time to bother W. Is, oh, Kaisa dies mid, so never mind. Nebula is able to just a solo kill the mid laner. Aster Curse. Yeah, it happens. It is causes versus an AD carry, not wholly unexpected. Uh, Bane Hades, I'm like, I, you're. We'll see if you can defend this. My my hopes uh, and wishes go out to you. I think he's gonna die. Uh, he's trying to get some poke down, I guess. Not that it particularly matters. Get some farm. The farm is arguably more important as he. My dream. Plates. Good vantage toss in, but this is just to get him essentially close to the wave. And Hades pops Counter Strike and grab a little bit of chip damage here. And then Trinomir hits 10 minions and heals it all back in one ability. Fun champ. Fun Such champ. is the way of the world. Jack Yeager, yeah, you are correct. Sayrin is quite cracked with League of Legends, it would appear. Very nice to see. I'm based solely on these whole two yeah, games. Yeah, based solely seen. on one game in 13 minutes of gameplay on Camille and Trindavir. He is the best Trindemir. op laner I've ever seen. <laughs> on Camille and Trindavir. <laughs> Ruck looking for... Looking for David. Uh, Nebulous looking for Mr. Lazy. Will die! Yes, he will. Burn my burn there. Doesn't even need to burn the flash, but does that. So anyway, that means Pensate. Going to have to concede this one. Let me give you a hug. No further options. The Kai'Sa just a little bit too far away. And with that, second Drake once again over to the side of NYU. Oh, maybe not. Ruck is threatening with the ultimate, but I have doubts on Nebulus's inability to slay, smite this away. Grabs it. I'm still confused what happened to Harold. I. Shelly is vanished into the void. Was it defeated? I checked chat. It chat might have just despawned or something. I wouldn't doubt that, but oh, we got dive bot lane here. My Dream cannot find the arrow, does find the abscond as the Ezreal ult connects. My Dream though gets exhausted, so Ash is not faulted yet. Good ulti on a Nebulous Raccoon doing a lot of damage return. There, the Valiant is the kill as Boots and Yarkos Berserk attacking the nearest enemy. That's still your own team. Now Mr. Lazy here as well. Big damage from the Agathian Rain. And now Raccoon and company pushing forward. Oh, with the abscond annihilates the enemy to carry. Finally, the killer instant comes through his Dream trying to do it again. It's extra matic, the only one left remaining. From his side, it's a who three for three cross map as Beta Page did die topside <laughs> during that exchange. But in terms of the bot side of the map, good fighting by Penn State to come back into that one, especially with Kaysa okay, so not even having a full mythic. Uh, this is. Oh That's... no, man. It's... That is a teleport. This is an unfortunate teleport game for Bane. This is an unfortunate teleport game. Has not, has not, the summoner spell has not been kind to him. No. <laughs> Uh. Either way, some gold on to Ruck, Raccoon, and Lazy, which is where you want to see it going. Uh, at least trying to forge some kind of avenue back in this game. 5k at the deficit in just 15 minutes is a very hard one to come back for. I do like that we're just going with full damage Ash. We're going the Kraken Slayer build, so... Uh, I mean, might as well. You definitely need the damage. Yeah, you got quite a few people you need to kill. <laughs> yeah, and... Unfortunately, this game, Jax just isn't going to be up to snuff for that pass. At least for not a very long time. No, his his hope, honestly, is going to be Counter-Strike, Flash into the middle of everybody, and then just die. Yep, <laughs> it's probably the most effective now, he's going to be in a fight. Yeah. Incredibly careful. This is a two-item for me. This gank is... I'm not sure how much I like this one. I'm going to be honest. It's a Trinity with ulti and two he items. He does not have ult. Yeah, so York does not have all. Who's saying he doesn't? Yeah, they. Saren absolutely does. As apparently someone did oh, have the Herald because it was summoned. Nebula scrapped it. Uh, Band of Haste finds him. Hide in the bush, mid lane turret. Pretty much gimps. There it goes. Raccoon gonna grab the gold for that kill. Uh, afterwards. And uh, yeah, Nebula's just waiting on the wings here, trying to trying to find an easy pick. And Band of Hades is that easy pick. Barely does it get corrupting pot can keep him up as uh Nebulous might be a little in here. Ash Alt not gonna find him as I think he's expecting him to walk forward, but my dream has the Ash Alt missed and lazy lacks the critical information to made of Hades goes to the counter, but he's already so low he might not survive. My dream looking for can't find him with the CC from Poon and Company. Nebula! Oh -ho! the beautiful bandage toss, but that's gonna be another kill for Penn State. 
again, still losing damage on the mid turret. D bot lane 2 2. Once again, just letting Saren have his way with whatever lane he chooses. Just gonna try to focus on getting kills where they can go. Just don't look at the Trinomere. Just he do not ignore exist. the Trinomere. Ignore the Trinomere. He it does not matter. exist. If you ignore his 9k gold at 17 minutes. Oh, uh, Poon, you don't have a tower, buddy. I'm not sure how um, you want to play this one. It looks like with Bane of Haze here, Sayrin actually is going to back away, at least stall the time for extra and David. Not that I think Penn State really wants to fight this raid boss just yet. Needs to get a little bit more, uh, you know, do a few more quests beforehand, get, advance, the, advance the MSQ a ways, then maybe take him on. Doesn't need to fight raid boss yet. In the meantime, going back to a little bit of farming. Gold lead has increased, though, up to 7k. Uh, courtesy of a lot more towers falling down. And just general farming uh, overall. It's almost a flame horizon in top lane. It's getting there. It's pretty close. Jungle's up 40 CS. Um, and after that, yeah. Solid gold leads all around. Yeah, and, and with both outer tier 2s gone now... Um... Poonsung Yark's going to experience a communal jungle, as I'd like to call it. Kid, the communal jungle. Aye, co Comrade Amumu. Yeah, it's uh, it's no longer your I jungle, see, I it's see our your, I jungle. I your jungle is here. Has my dream with Killer Instinct, trying to find a CC. Can't, Mr. Lazy! The fancy footwork for Will be enough. The Killer Instinct from Silas, the Killer Instinct from Mr. Lazy, but the team is here first for Penn State, and that's a kill. Amumu burns the oh. ult just for fun as they win now. Needs to be careful. Oh, both come down, late fled, but... Nebula in the area, Bane Hayes going forward, but no! Oh, Bane of Hades kills his own AD carry! No! Oh, the only person who's gonna kill on this entire game is his own team! And Poots on no all can't peel off Sayer and Ruck try to do it again, but this ain't Fed, Trindamir, and you are a control mage. Someone dies on impact, the TP. It was Bane of Hades again! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's a triple kill for Trindamir top lane. Oh, it's just. Uh, that is so disastrous. <laughs> Bane is having one heck of a TP game. Bane is, uh, Bane is having a rough day. He's having a he's, He kills his own AD carry, and then TP's top and instantly top. It's a rough, it's a rough game for Bane. He's trying his heart out, but unfortunately it's just not working out. And Golden, though, increases down to 9,000. Uh, my team just says, yeah, man, I'll set up the only negative KD on my team if this is how we're going to win. Sure. Uh, I'd say kind of just going to be relegated to farming their base now as open mid lane inhibitor. No outer turrets of any kind remaining. And with a almost 10k gold deficit at 19 minutes. This one is going to be pretty hard. to He's fine. Nebulous, but I'm sorry, Jack, you did not win this. Good Ash ulti, but... Oh, no, good Zerith damage. Might be able to find something good. Sidestep. Nebulous not going to just yet. Stay with. Extra Matic, zoning them off with the Cod, his own oh, dream in the back line with the Amumu ulti, Ruck caught unaware as my dream does take it down in the end, but the rest of the team is here, good, Amumu off of Poonsung, it is too little, too late, too far gone for you, Fed State, the fight was valiant, but you have reached the end game at 20 minutes, far before you have the chance for even your mid laner to pick up a mythic, that should be Baron at 21-ish for the side of NYU. Oh, there's uh, not much they're going to be able to do here. Yeah, that... Um, they tried to find the pick, couldn't grab it, and then NYU able to group up and just... Do it. Yeah, at this point, yep, Baron going to fall down with the 21-minute marker. You've been out Trindamir with three items, with Baron, with ulti, with level 15. Uh, he's two levels minimum above anyone else on Penn State, most of them four or five. It is. Isa does have the Ludens now, but is five AP short of her W Evolve. Yeah. And, oh yeah, Bane, my friend. Yeah, just, just sit around, you know, make yourself present stone. We'll see if Sarah chooses to acknowledge that you exist. It's looking like a no. Tower shot actually doing a fair bit of damage still. Oh, this is a. Uh, yeah, this, this is, is a. We are grouping up the end game push. Soul in 
two minutes is probably not going to be necessary. Is console, so how much actually matters. Boots on, found out on the backside. Going forward. Maybe let's going forward. Has an odd W, but uh, Boots is going to find my dream, and that's one man he doesn't necessarily want to see. Is maybe let's able to get on top thanks to the CC. Engage it down, and uh, Zayren has full reign. Raccoon going to try to cut away the almost effectively. Zayren almost falls for the first time this game. And with that, this is, yeah, this is the end game push. Two players down, five alive. Zayren goes low. Nebula's also low. Putin, or sorry, not done. Mr. Lazy grabs the kill. Mr. Lazy's playing for pride. Yep. I mean, that will stall out a little bit of the advance. It doesn't look like much of NYU wants to stay here. Splash for Bane looking for the stun. Grabs it on a day, but he's got the W, so he's going to delay for now. And Mr. Lazy's going to proc that one, grab the kill for himself. But Sayerin still here. Tendermere still around. Uh, just does not really care. Doesn't want to give up that sweet, sweet kitty A. Isn't trying to get too hyped with it. And with that, Head State lives somehow to fight another day, actually. I, that was, I was almost certain that was going to be the end game push. Teleport in by my dream to grab the crab. And at this point, probably just going to walk to Drake to grab the soul anyway. Maybe send just Ezreal to do it or just Kha'Zix and have the rest of the planes. Uh, and this will be... This is, this, we are in the... Uh, NYU semi-final waiting room at this point. As they are up 13,000 gold. Well, maybe what they're doing is they want to wait for Soul so they can see how funny it is when Trinomere presses R with Cloud Soul. Huh. Uh, Poonsung Yark uh, has been chosen. Yeah, he is... Uh... Oh, it's CC comes through, but Sayerin has the ulti, not gonna die yet. Uh, Bane is probably gonna die yet before this even expires. I believe in Bane. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, uh... Raid boss is still the raid boss. Does have to back off, though, as he's too low to continue for now. My dream with the Ash ulti, extremely scary as well. The Silas now with a ton of pick potential. Going forward, Ruck, Flash, Ash ult comes out, but it's on a Daywood, and Nebula is here. Finds one kill on the Raccoon. Mr. Lazy hit up by the Abscond. He's abducted back to the fountain. And, and with that, Ruck is going to go hide in the fountain. Saren finally has re-arrived. Full HP. Ruck trying to buy some time to kill the minion wave out. Uh, not much that it'll give you. So one more second on Bane. Food's up as well. 3v5. Some lower health bars, but overall, no one feeling too bad. Good Arcane Shift from the Bandage Toss. And with that, somehow, Penn State hasn't lost yet. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I, I guess... <laughs> That's BM. That's okay. so BM, David. That's so BM. Um, might be a little bit of a playing a little, with your food little, situation Yeah, a little bit BM on. there, David. I, yeah, that's a little bit. And now he's going to... Oh, he doesn't die for it. He actually gets the E. Or the Q, sorry. Uh, unfortunately, Mumu gets two beta thumbs down. I bet you wish you had that flash, my friend. That flash would be real uh, nice right now. That flash would be really nice right now. Penn State makes him pay for that one. <laughs> uh, Trinomere oh, is at 16,000 gold now. How many Penn State players is that? Um, it's still the bot lane. It's still Penn State bot lane. That's, it's Penn State uh, bot lane or mid and top lane. It is actually almost exactly Penn State. Oh, uh, by Raccoon. By Ruck. Oh, he actually might be standing long enough to die. Oh, the raid boss is defeated. It's winnable. The raid boss has been defeated. And now Mr. Lazy's dead. Oh, he gets... Oh, very nice ulti away. And Nebula, now Nebula's maybe overextended. It has to flash. Oh, max range bad jump, but can they commit? No, he's got more jumps. Because it's got mad hops. And with the Killer Instinct already used, Mr. Lazy cannot follow up. Looking for a Void Seeker. He's AP. This a does a w lot of damage. A W could get him. Oh, but now Mr. Lazy is uh, playing with pride. Dodging the contact again. Flashes away from the Glacial. As uh, Nebulous has rejoined the frame. But Mr. Lazy is alone and joins his friends back to the fountain. Well, if they don't find a way to end here... Which it looks like the Kha'Zix is backing there. They might just take this comp and hit the knee. Yep, Beta Pady is very low. Has to keep back found. My Dream just flashes and stuns. Probably would have died actually if that hit. Uh, Food Sun follow up with Raccoon. Pretty deadly. Raccoon doing what he can, but he's just getting smashed by the Mystic Shots. Extra 
Three for three on those ones. Man, if Hades pops, he also gets some resistance, but he's still folding here. Yeah, flash four from extra to explain that one. And this, this is the end game push that Ezreal has been silently, by the way, just being 5-0 and oh and playing an excellent game. Sorry, actually, we haven't talked about you much, but... Well, Blazer, there was something going gonna on die in the to Kaisa. He's good. As Sarian is uh, trying to find one more kill on a Poonsung. Uh, you see it up with the advantage toss, doesn't matter. Raid boss was defeated once, but now he's come back in a later part in the game, and he's twice as strong. <laughs> this will be the game. It's Sarah the, classic, it's the it. classic fake out. You have to beat him twice. Yep. <laughs> classic fake out. NYU, it was a little shaky game one at times, but game two, absolute dominance in their favor. GG, well played. It will be New York University heading on to the Nittany Invitational semifinals. Yeah, I mean, Sayrin, probable candidate for MVP of the series. Uh, extras, up, extras, up, extras up there as well. Nebulas had very good games. Uh, Penn State, they did what they can. Beta Hayes having a little bit of a rough one today. Happens. Uh, Mr. Lazy, Ruck, Raccoon. Honestly, the whole, everyone played the best they damn well could today. You yeah, you just can't did come not out of that feeling together. too. Yeah, just unfortunately, some small misplays, mechanical stuff starts adding up, and such is the way of things. But a good attempt by all, nonetheless. Either way, for my knowledge, that's all we have today because caster sheet's not updated. So, captains, get on that one. Um, not our problem. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not on the sheet, it's not a game. Yep. But thank you guys very much for watching. A very enjoyable uh, series to kick off our quarterfinals. And we're going to hit you guys next time we have a game to cast. Uh, reminder, next week at 5 p.m., I believe, on Sunday the 27th, will be the finals. So that will be cast live here at University Park. Uh, if you're on campus or near UP and you want to like drive up, hang out, uh, we'll be casting that game live in our hub lounge. So feel free to stop on by, have some fun. Uh, there's a lot of whole other games on there, too. I think there's a fighting games tournament as well. Uh, you can sign up for it if you're into, like, Guilty Gear, Strive, or King of Fighters 15. That's around. But without further ado, I've been Infamous Trash, joined here by the ever-wonderful Runk. Also known as Hardstuck Gold. Aren't we all? <laughs> and we'll catch you guys back on the roof for next time.